Hello ladies and gentlemen, Paul here. I'm going to show you what I've got running on my jailbroken iPad 3. I'm going to show you all my jailbroken tweaks and Cydia apps. Now before I get into this, please hit the subscribe button above if you enjoy this video and also hit the like button down below. And uh, here we go. The first tweak I'm going to go into is any attach. I can attach files to emails inside the mobile mail application. Now I'm going to open up the mail application here on my iPad and I'm going to compose a new email and now you can see you got a little paper clip there select that and now you can choose a file from your private var mobile media selection here also there are other options down at the bottom I can select pictures or video anything from my Dropbox and also with different book bookmarks after any attach, we're going to scroll down here to Dashboard X. Dashboard X is an awesome widget system for your iOS device. Yes, widgets on your iOS device. Now I'm going to demonstrate this here. Let's first go into the settings of Dashboard X. And there you go. And you can see there are different options here for the home screen, how to enable the widgets. Now that you see all these, let's head back to the home screen and show you the widgets that I've got currently on my iPad. I've got OmniStat here. You can see a whole bunch of information about your device. And NC settings, I can change the brightness, turn Wi-Fi on and off, volume, and also above that I've got the Dashboard X or the IntelliScreen X ticker. So let's add a new widget. Let's select the quick settings here and then you just select add widget and you can drag that anywhere you want on your device. Let's go ahead and delete that. So that is Dashboard X. The next week I've got running on my iPad is Folder Enhancer and this immensely improves the capabilities of your folders. Now I'm going to demonstrate Folder Enhancer for you. This is one tweak that Apple really needs to implement. Now I'm going to open up my folder here and as you can see I've got folders inside of folders and I'm going to drag this folder inside of that folder and you can add as many folders inside of other folders as you would like also a great thing about this tweak is that there is no app limit per folder so you can add as many apps to one folder as you would like so that is folder enhancer let me know what you think about folder enhancer down in the comments below Another must-have tweak in Cydia is IntelliScreen X. You can add Facebook, Twitter, your RSS feed, and enhanced email to your notification center. Now I'm going to head to the home screen here and pull down my notification center to show you IntelliScreen X. And I've got it set up to where I can mess with my toggles, the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and Twitter on the right, and my email on the left. And there are a whole bunch of other options you can set up. Now I'm going to show you what this looks like on the lock screen. Yes, with Intel Screen X you can activate your notification center on your lock screen. Everything you can see on the home screen is also available on the lock screen. Now I'm going to head back to the settings here. Go to settings and show you what other options you've got in Intel Screen X. Now here at the top you can change the positioning of your mail and Twitter and you can also add Facebook and your RSS reader. I'm going to slide over and there you go. There's Facebook added. And you can quickly hit edit in the upper right and move it back out and now Facebook is no longer in my notification center. In the general area there are a whole bunch of other options and down below you can change the action menus you can change the lock screen cell opacity and a whole bunch of other options here. Now the next week is low power banner instead of the big blue box warning me about my battery I just get a banner alert instead. After that I've got mark that message it gives me timestamps on all my entries in SMS and now multi icon mover. Multi icon mover is great if you got a lot of applications you need to move to one folder you, all you have to do is just tap on 
the applications you need in that folder or move to another page, you just tap the applications you need, head to where you need them planted, and then hit the home button. And now they're inside the folder or on a new page. So this tweak really allows you to move your applications wherever you want quickly. Next is a city application, and this is MXTube. MXTube is a great application that allows you to download YouTube videos right to your iOS device. Now I'm going to head into MXTube here and go ahead and hit search in the upper right hand corner. And I'm going to paste a URL to the video I want to download and select search. From here, you get the video, just select it, and now you can either stream the video or you can download it, either high definition, high or low, and you just select it and now it's downloading and this does go pretty quick depending on your internet connection. So that is MXTube and start downloading. After MXTube I've got NC settings here. NC settings allows you to toggle your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, a lot of your settings on and off from your notification center. Next is Omnistat. You can show useful stats about your device from your notification center as well. And now next up is Password Pilot Pro. Password Pilot Pro comes in handy if you really hate inserting your iTunes password every time you want to download an application. Now I'm going to go ahead and download this application here. And there you can see Password Pro already inserts my iTunes password in the password section. The next week I've got running on my iOS device is Springtomize 2. And this allows you to manipulate tons of options on your device. Now in the settings here for Springtomize 2, you've got tons of options and I am just going to go quickly through these and I'm going to go to the animations here, just scroll through them. I'm not going to go in depth with these. Here's the different capabilities, a whole bunch of different capabilities here. You can manipulate your dock. In this case I've got 10 icons in my dock. Next is the lock screen. You can change a lot of stuff with your lock screen as well. Manipulate your icons. I prefer hiding my icon labels. Next is folders. Now to the app switcher. And time machine. and status bar here. I like keeping my status bar clean so I turn a lot of these off. Now to pages and theming. I don't do a whole lot of theming. And now to the notification center and finally the more tab and you can manipulate your mobile substrate add-ons from here which is really great. So that is Springtomize 2, and I believe this is a must-have tweak for your iOS device. Next, after Springtomize 2, I've got Stay Open. This keeps the App Store from closing while downloading applications. After that, I've got Swipe Safari. Now I'm going to go into the settings of that. Here in the Swipe Safari settings, you got different gestures here that you can use while in Safari. There are a whole bunch of options that you can manipulate as you would like. And next is the puller. You can pull down from the top or bottom or left and right. And you can also hide the status bar once you enter Safari. Now in Safari, you can manipulate this as much as you'd like. You can see the status bar at top and that takes up a lot of real estate. So I can go ahead and toggle that off and hide it which really expands your screen real estate. I can also pull down to refresh the page and I'll also scroll down to the bottom and pull up to activate my bookmarks. I'm going to show you how I toggle this on and off again and now a great feature is the ability to use a swipe gesture to go back or forward a page and in this case I'm going to go back a page so I'll swipe this direction and there we go. Next is swipe selection and it gives you the ability to swipe to move your cursor. Now I'm going to demonstrate this here on my keyboard. Now if I want to move my cursor left, 
all I have to do is just swipe left or right on my keyboard. To go faster, all I have to do is use two fingers, and I'll go faster with your cursor. If you want to select, let's go ahead, actually let's show you how you can manipulate your text here really quickly. This is much easier than the iOS version. Now if I want to select some text, all I have to do is hold the up arrow here, hold it down, and then swipe over. And that is how you select text with swipe selection. Now my final tweak, and this is not really a tweak, it is an application, and it is TruePrint, and it enables iOS direct printing to hundreds of printers and not just AirPrint enabled printers. So there you go guys, those are the jailbroken tweaks and applications that I've got installed on my jailbroken iPad 3. Let me know what you've got installed on your device, leave those in the comment section down below. Also, check out the description that I will have links to different videos that I've done on these tweaks. And also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button above and the like button down below. Thanks for watching. This is Paul. God bless.